Hey guys, good morning. So glad you guys are here today. Got a great Bible lesson for you guys. And if you were watching the last two weeks, you know that the two weeks ago, we learned that God wants to transform your life. And last week, we learned that God wants to transform your mind. And today, God wants to transform something else. And we are going to find out right after we have these songs. Guys, got two scripture songs for you with motions. I want to encourage you guys to do those. And I'll see you guys after the songs.
Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed those songs. Well, once again, we learned that God wants to transform our life and our mind. And if you look at my first picture up here, it says that God wants to transform your heart. Now we learned that the word transform, that means to completely change something. And when we think about the word heart, a lot of people often think about that thing that's inside your body that's beating back and forth. Well, we do have a physical heart and that pumps blood through the body. You know, we have to take care of that physical heart by eating right and taking care of ourselves and exercising. It's a very important part of the body because if that part of that heart is not working right, it can give us a whole lot of problems. But the heart that we're talking about today is a spiritual heart. You actually can't see it or even touch it, but it is there and it's given to us by God. The spiritual heart is made up of the mind, the will, our emotion, our conscience. It's the part of us that thinks and decides, and also it's the part of us that senses what is right and wrong, and that's the part, the spiritual heart, that God wants to transform in us. Our lesson today is found in Luke chapter 17. It's about 10 men who were very sick. These men had something called leprosy, and leprosy is a skin disease. Now let me tell you what they did with these people. If you had leprosy, you actually couldn't live with the people who were normal or didn't have the disease. You, they had to kick you out to a different place where everybody who had leprosy, they all kind of lived together. It probably wasn't a very happy place. And whenever these people with leprosy would come close to somebody who didn't have leprosy, they would have to scream out, unclean, unclean. So can you imagine how those people lived and how rejected they actually felt? Well, this is how our story takes place. And once again, it's in Luke chapter 17. This is how the story goes. Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem. And he was traveling from Galilee and he was going to Samaria and he stopped at a small town in that country. There were 10 men that met Jesus there. These men did not come close to Jesus because they had leprosy, that horrible skin disease that could possibly be contagious. But these men saw Jesus walking and they called out to him. They said, Jesus, and then they called him, Master, please, please help us. In other words, we need a healing touch. Let's see what happened. When Jesus saw the men, he said this, go and show yourselves to the priest. That's all he said, didn't touch him. He just says, go and show yourselves to the priest. And in verse 14, it says, while the 10 men were going, leaving to go show the priest, the Bible says they were healed. The leprosy was actually gone. But listen to this. One of them out of the 10 that was healed, he came back to Jesus. And what did he do? He praised God in a loud voice. Then he bowed down at Jesus' feet and he thanked them. Jesus asked a man, he says, weren't there 10 men that were healed? Where are the other nine? Is this Samaritan the only one who came back to thank God? Now listen to this in verse 19. Then Jesus said to him, to the man, stand up and go on your way. Your faith has made you whole. Another Bible translation says, you were healed because you believed. Now, if you guys remember, back in verse 14, it says that as the 10 were leaving to go show themselves to the priest, they were already healed, all of them. One of them that was healed came back to Jesus and thanked him for what he had done. But then Jesus again, in the very last verse here, says, your faith has made you whole, or you were healed because you believed. Well, wasn't the man already physically healed? The answer is yes. What Jesus is talking about here was that his spiritual heart was actually healed as well. 
It had been transformed. His heart, he, his sins were forgiven. He was saved. He was, in other words, he was a Christian and he was on his way to heaven. And guys, we learned something here. God wants to do that to every single one of you guys too. Now I know that you guys believe in Jesus and you believe he died on the cross and he rose again and he offers forgiveness of sin. And my prayer for you guys is that you have opened up your heart to Jesus. You've thanked him for what he did for you and your faith is in him. And when you put that faith in him like this man did, he will give you a new heart. He will transform you. Ezekiel chapter 36 verse 26 says this, I will give you a new heart and I will put my spirit in you. That's what God wants to do for anybody who will come to him by faith. Once again, physical healing was given to these people, but one man not only received physical healing, but he also received spiritual healing. And boys and girls, Nothing is more important than spiritual healing, a transformation of your heart because that's what's going to last forever and ever and ever. So guys, if you want to go back and read this story for yourselves, I want to encourage you. There's so much other things you can learn from this story. I encourage you to go back this week and read through it. But at this time, I'm going to invite Miss Kristen to come up, and she's going to share with you an illustrated story, and I will see you guys next week. Bye for now. Hey, everybody. It is time for today's life story, so let's get started. Today, we're going to learn about Oscar. Now, Oscar is an onion, and Oscar lived with Farmer Joe, and he loved to go on adventures in Farmer Joe's wagon. And all the other vegetables and Oscar would get together once a week to go into town, and they would ride on the wagon. Now, Farmer Joe had told Oscar, now, Oscar, you can't be doing tricks. It's not safe. But Oscar did not listen, and Oscar would always try new tricks. So on this one day, he was actually walking upon a stick. It was attached from one side to the other, and he was gonna walk across it. And as he walked across it, everything was going perfect. He was doing this trick. The other vegetables were amazed at what he was doing. But all of a sudden, the farmer hit a bump, and boom, off went Oscar. He went flying. He, now, he didn't fly off of the cart onto the ground, but he flew somewhere that he didn't want to be. And let's see where that was. When he flew off, he actually ended up in with the figs. Now, the figs did not like onions. He was kind of out of it at first, but when he woke up, he saw all the figs standing around, very angry that Oscar had landed in their section of the cart. You see, the figs didn't like onions because they thought they smelled really bad. And Mama Fig would always cry when the onions came around. So they did not like to have them around them. But Oscar found himself in the middle of the, the figs. So let's see what happens. Well, Oscar was pretty hurt when he came to. He had some bruises and he was kind of dizzy. And all of the figs were making fun of him and laughing. You see, he had got some bruises when he had fallen in there and he wasn't 100%. He woke up seeing stars and wondering, where am I? And let's see what happens. Well, Farmer Joe stopped the, the cart right away because he had heard the big thump, and he went running to make sure to see that everybody was okay. Now, he saw Oscar, and he picked him up, and he said, Oscar, you are bruised. I'm gonna have to peel back your layers. The farmer wanted to transform Oscar. He wanted to make him better, and he knew that those bruises were painful and they hurt, and he wanted to make him whole again and make him better. But Oscar had heard stories. He had heard stories of how painful it was when Farmer Joe would peel back the layers of the onions. So he closed himself up and he ran away from Farmer Joe. And boys and girls, you and I are like Oscar. Sometimes we have these bruises and these hurts inside and God wants to get in and transform those hurts and peel back the layers of our heart and make our heart brand new and fresh. 
but we run away from God. Instead of running to him when we're hurt, we run away. And that's exactly what Oscar had done. God doesn't want us to run away. God wants us to allow him to transform our hearts and make them whole again. But we have to open our hearts. And just like Oscar, Oscar didn't want that transformation. And that's how a lot of us are sometimes. Let's see what happens. Well, Oscar still had his bruises and he went to the farmer's market and he knew that he had a very important job to do. You see, one of the best looking fruit or vegetable would stand in front of the sign so everybody could see what quality they were. And Oscar had that job, but he was hurting and he had bruises and it was hot in the sun. It was really, really hard for him to stand there. He tried his best but he knew that he couldn't do that any longer. That the pain of the bruises, and especially from standing in the sun, it was getting worse, that he had to go see Farmer Joe. So let's see what he did. He went to go see Farmer Joe, and Oscar knew that it was gonna probably be a little painful, but that Oscar Joe could make him, um, not Oscar Joe, Farmer Joe, could make him feel better. So Oscar went to him and Farmer Joe began to peel back the layers. He said, he said, now Oscar, this is gonna be a little painful, but I promise when I'm done, I, you are gonna feel so much better. And Oscar was starting to feel better. Once those, those yucky layers came off, the hurt and bruise layers came off, he was like a brand new onion. And boys and girls, that's like us. When we go to God and we give him our heart totally and we bring our hurts and our aches and our pains to him, he peels away the layers of our heart and he makes it like a brand new heart and he can help us to feel whole again. And that's what God wants to do. But we have to go to him. We have to ask him to help us and not run away. Oscar already had realized that this was the best choice he ever made by allowing the farmer to peel away the layers. And boys and girls, if we choose to go to God with our hurts and our sadness and our problems, we will realize it is the best decision that we make when we go to God. So let's see what happens. Well, Oscar was like a brand new onion. He was completely healed of all his bruises and all the yucky layers were gone, but he went back to his old tricks. He started jumping over things again. He started to play on the wagon. You see, he had kind of forgotten how painful those bruises were and how painful it was to have to have those layers peeled back. So he went back to a way that he knew was gonna be dangerous again. And let's see what happens. Well, sure enough, he was gonna jump off of the wagon and do a big trick, but he jumped off too soon and bam, he landed in the mud and he got stuck. He almost got run over by the tire wheel because he had jumped too soon. He knew he made a big mistake and guess what? He was bruised again. Let's see what happens. Well, he was very embarrassed by what he did. So he ran and he hid. He went underneath some hay and he tried to hide from the other fruits and vegetables, but they saw that he was there and he was afraid to tell them that he made his mistake. He was embarrassed and he just wanted to hide. And boys and girls, that's like us. Sometimes when we make mistakes, which we all do, everybody does. When we make mistakes, we try to hide those things from God. We try to hide our problems from other people. But God put Christian friends in our lives, Christian moms and dads and brothers and sisters, so that we can go to each other when we have rough spots, when we have problems. And just like Oscar was doing, he was hiding. That's what we do sometimes. We hide. We don't want them to see those problems. But God wants us to come to him and he wants us to go to our Christian friends. So let's see what Oscar did. Well, Oscar felt horrible. He had the bruises again. He didn't like hiding from his friends and especially hiding from Farmer Joe. So he knew there was only one thing that he could do. And that one thing was going to go to, to Farmer Joe and ask him to help again. So he went to Farmer Joe and Farmer Joe was more than happy to help him. He ran to him as fast as he could and he said, I'm so sorry that I did this again. Can you please help me? 
Farmer Joe said, of course, I love you and I want you to be well and I want to fix you and make you whole. So boys and girls, just like Farmer Joe said to Oscar, that's what God says to us. When we go to our with our problems, he doesn't embarrass us. He doesn't look bad on us or turn his back on us. He is willing. God is there. He wants to transform our hearts to be whole in every way, in our mind, in our body, and in our spirit. And so, boys and girls, we have to be like Oscar in the fact that we go to God like he went to Farmer Joe, and we ask for that help, and we allow God to transform our heart. You see, after Oscar went to Farmer Joe, Farmer Joe had him perfect again. His bruises were fixed, his onion peels were back, and he was made whole. And that's what God wants to do in your life today, in my life today, in everybody's life. He wants our hearts to be transformed, and he, God is the only one who can transform our hearts. Boys and girls, I hope you take some time today and listen to the story that Pastor Rob taught in this story, and you just take that time to spend talking to God, telling Him what's going on. We can share with God when we're happy. We can share when we're sad and when we're hurting, and He will take our hearts and He will make them whole because He loves us so, so much. Boys and girls, I hope you have a great week, and I hope you know that we love you guys so, so much too. And we look forward to seeing you again. Have a great week. Bye-bye.